it was uh, interesting to hear the pastor of this church say that there have been times that uh, he, even he has uh, doubted the existence of God. So I think probably most Christians have, if they're honest with themselves, probably had that same feeling. So uh, it, is that, have you had that experience also, JP? Have, has there been times when you have doubted the existence of God? And, uh, and maybe if not, what, what kind of evidence would shake your faith? And then also a question for uh, Dr. Carrier. Um, what kind of evidence would lead you to become a Christian? Okay, my answer to that is no, but I've never had any kind of doubt like that. you got to understand, I'm, I'm a very unusual personality type. Uh, yeah. doubt, doubt does not does not enter into what I am. Uh, I either believe it wholeheartedly or I don't mess with it. That's what it boils down to. Um, now, the second part of the question again, repeat that for me. Uh, evidence that would shake your belief in Christianity. Well, I mean, Jesus' body, you know, uncovered from the tomb or whatever. But what it boils down to is, even if, if, I, if Christianity were not available, I would probably be a Franklin Deist. I mean, I have my default already. I, I'm not worried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, my default is Taoism. That would be if, if, if I were convinced that naturalism as a worldview was false, and I can think of things that would convince me of that, uh, my, my next most likely worldview would be Taoism. Uh, but however, for, for specifically Christianity, and that's a very specific worldview, you'd have to have specific evidence for its particular claims that are unique to Christianity. Uh, I actually basically answer that in the book that I have in the hall there, uh, Why I'm Not a Christian. Uh, basically, if, if the world were different in those four ways, and or it were to change in those four ways, uh, and, and I give the four of them there, um, that would convert me. And in fact, even probably even one of those might be able to do it depending on the nature of the evidence. Um, but ultimately, uh, for me, I would need to have a convincing and satisfying conversation with God, essentially. Amen. That's a good question. <laughs> But do you go to church to have a conversation with God? <laughs> well, I mean, God presumably is everywhere, so <laughs> he has my phone number. <laughs> I thought you went to Neil Donald Walsh to have a conversation with God. 